Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this is going to be a reading for Leo. So, I haven't done a reading for Leo in a few weeks, so I figured you're up next. So, what do we have for Leo? This is going to be a, a weekly reading, for, if I can speak, for May 11th through the 16th. So, we're going to start with the 11th, and we're going to go day by day by day. This is something different. I don't usually do them this way. I don't know why I am. I just feel like being different. So, what do we have for Leo for the week of May 11th through the 16th? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. So, what do we have for Monday? What do we have for Monday the 11th for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Monday. Ooh, balancing, needing to adapt. Monday. Ooh, trapped, trapped, confined. We're going to go, we're going to read them here in a minute, but Tuesday, what do we have for Tuesday? A grieving over a relationship, perhaps, but you may be receiving some sort of support. Wednesday, Eight of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody's getting caught doing something. What about Thursday? Thursday is the 14th. Four of Cups reversed, and the Six of Coins reversed. What about Friday? What do we have for Friday? Hmm. Ooh, interesting. Four of Wands next to the Three of Cups. So this is a celebration. This is a celebration, but one of them is reversed. So there's... Oh, uh, interesting. So Friday is... Uh, you may be out celebrating and it not turn out as like you thought, okay, on Friday. So maybe say you go out to some sort of get-together. And people are starting to open up, so it could happen. You're, you're getting together with friends, or you're doing something, and maybe there's some people that are disguised as friends that aren't really your friends, and uh, things don't go well, okay? So just Friday looks to be a little... There's some opposition, put it that way. There could be some gossip going on. Enemies disguised as friends. Or it could be family members talking behind your back. Something's going on on Friday. We're going to open up that camera here in a minute and let you see the rest. But let's talk about Saturday. What do we have for Saturday? Saturday the 16th. Magician. And the Seven of Wands. Now let's get an overall energy for the week for Leo, please. An overall energy for the week. Julio. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry. Three of Swords. So that's pain. So there could be some, there could be some, I mean, that could be heartburn. You could have heartburn. Heartburn. It could be heartache as well. So it could be pain. It could be pain. It could be suffering. It could be grieving. Okay. We do have some grieving right here with this right here um so let's go on let's get started here so the overall energy is the three of swords so it looks as though you know there's something fresh okay this fresh there's that's like still bleeding it's still fresh the pain is fresh it still hurts something there's there's pain here okay it's fresh it's not even close to being healed whatever that is um so the overall energy is heartache okay it is i mean i can't that's the meaning of the card suffering over something um but let's see how it progresses okay monday adapt being flexible so you may need to be flexible you also need to make a choice okay you need to make a choice it's interesting because of the eight okay so that kind of represents you in many ways um if you think about the strength card which is a number eight so you have the strength you do, you do. But anyway, let's get back to this re this reading. Um, and this is an eight as well. So eights are very prominent here. We have an eight here and an eight here. Um, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. You think about that infinity sign, which is an eight, but it's, it's sideways. Okay. So what goes around comes around. Okay. Um, this is a balancing act. So you're going to need to. Monday is going to be, you're going to need to probably adapt to some sort of change. You may need to make a choice. You know, you can't do two things. You can't do both. Look at, this person isn't, is, is taking too long to make a decision. Uh, heaven and how and going back and forth. Meanwhile, look at the tub is overflowing in the background. So we have somebody here that is taking too long. 
you know, wasting time, um, thinking too much, just needing to, needing to make the choice because while this person is stewing, uh, shit is, uh, problems are brewing in the background. Okay. So shit or get off the pot is what I'm trying to say. Monday, you have to make a decision because if you don't, there's going to be a disaster. Just saying. Okay, so anyhow, so Monday you're going to have to make some sort of decision. Okay, and you and, and so, but I don't know what this decision is, but it's going to pop up. And if you don't make the decision a lot faster than you planned on, you know, you're, it's going to be a much bigger problem. Okay, shit or get off the pot. So, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is mental conflict, mental turmoil, staying in safety zone, you know, staying where it's safe, restricting yourself. Now, a lot of you are probably fearful, and this is something um, about the restrictions, you know. Perhaps that th that is what this is about. Maybe it's time to step outside of your safety zone. Monday, you're going to need to make a choice. Do you want to keep wasting time? Or do you want to step outside of your safety zone and be free? It's about your freedom. What are you going to do? Tuesday. That's grieving. Something has happened. This is, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. It is. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? It's too late now. It's too late. Sweep it up. Sweep up the mess. There's still some, there's still some left. Okay. There's still a, don't worry about it. You can get something new. You can get, perhaps that was too, it was already chipped. It was already broken. Whatever. Maybe it's time for something new. So it's like somebody here that is crying over a loss. They're crying over what happened when there's still something over here that's not broken. Or there's an, now there's an opportunity to get something new. Look at it from a different perspective. So Tuesday, there's crying over something. Not realizing that there's still something else. An opportunity, what's this, the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups is romance, love, emotional support. Somebody that is looking for love, an offer of love. Somebody that is very sensitive. Somebody that wants a relationship, wants a romance. So, you know, it's like somebody can see that somebody's interested, put it that way, on Tuesday. You're going to be receiving support from somebody or a message from somebody that sees that you need them. My advice is to pick your head up and give them a chance. There is somebody around you on Tuesday that it's going to support you if you will give them a chance. It may not be the one that you lost or the thing that you lost or you know, whatever it is that you're grieving over, but it's somebody that cares. So Tuesday, there's, there's an offer of emotional support coming in for you. Give this person a chance. Look at it as an opportunity. Okay. Instead of a loss, look at it as an opportunity on Wednesday, eight of cups reversed and the seven of swords reversed. Now this is getting caught. Eight of cups reversed. This is Wednesday. This is pretending to be happy, superficial. This could be an apology, refusing to move on, pretending they're happy. Somebody is pretending that they're happy. They're refusing to move on, but they're not going to get away with it. The truth is going to come out. Wednesday, some sort of truth is going to come out. Can't pretend. This is emotional weakness. Somebody's emotionally weak. They're pretending, but, and they're lying. Somebody is lying about their happiness. They're lying about the superficiality here. It is. Somebody is lying about who they are. They're pretending. Pretending that everything is good, but the truth is going to come out. So on Wednesday, if somebody has been lying about their happiness, they're going to get caught in their lie. Somebody's going to get caught lying about their happiness. They're going to get caught lying. It's going to be blatantly evident. 
that they're staying in a situation. I don't know why. Why that that they're staying in a in a situation that is emotionally disappointing. Somebody could also be trying to come back on Wednesday that deceived you, that lied to you. Okay, because this is deception. This is betrayal. This is lies. This is coming back. So somebody could be coming back into your life that has um, deceived you. Maybe they've stolen from you. There could be an apology. Somebody may be apologizing to you on Wednesday. Or you may be apologizing to them. This can always go vice versa. I feel like there's an apology coming on Wednesday. Whether it's you or them. <sighs> Thursday. Seizing a new opportunity. Interested. Time to relax. Letting go. Four of Cups reversed. Looking forward now. Letting go of regrets. I'm ready. But the Six of Coins reversed. It's letting go as well. Ready for love. Letting go of a one-sided situation on Thursday. I'm letting go. I don't have nothing to offer. Want something more. So on Thursday... Somebody may be, be, be being let go, okay? This could be being let go from a job. This could be getting fired. I'm just being honest with you. This, this is unemployment. Um, Six of Pentacles reverse is, is somebody that's a fraud. They're a fraud. They get let go. They, don't, they didn't seek prevent per, professional advice. This is an abuse of power. It's greed. It's injustice. Inequality. Abuse. Abuse of generosity. And this is seeing it. Somebody, I don't know what the hell is going on. Somebody has been lying. They're getting caught in their lie. And, you know, something could be taken away. Something could be taken away. This is an injustice. There's been an imbalance. Somebody is seeing. They're seeing something that they didn't see before. So somebody is seeing something that they did not see before. On Thursday. There's a lack of reciprocation. This is one-sided. There's a definitely an imbalance here. It's a lot. This is this is there's imbalance right here too. So the week starts off as, with an imbalance, a need to balance out your choices in your life, a need to take the next step. But there's, and it's just wanting to protect yourself so much that it's it's a poor choice. Somebody is making a poor decision by living in their, by trying to keep it so safe that it's causing more damage. It is because of the anxiety. There's, it's like, I don't, this is like a freaking, this is crazy. It's crazy. Let go of the fear, please. It's time to live. Oh my God. So anyway, on Thursday, this, the six of pentacles reverse. This is, uh, I don't know. It looks like there's an abuse of power, but it's being seen on Thursday. It's like something is being taken away. A job, somebody could be losing a job. They're giving it to somebody else or something like that. Before it wasn't being seen, but now it's being seen. There's no, there's no reciprocation or there's no, this is one-sided. It's not equal. There's no balance in this. It's not fair. This is an injustice. On, on, on Thursday, there's, seeing that this is not balance. Somebody is going to see that this is not good. It's not stable. It's not stable. I need to get one more card. Looking forward. Not giving. Not giving. Empress. Mother. Something about a mother. There's no reciprocation. She gives birth to a new life. 
we have a mother here that is not putting in effort. This is this mother looks sad. She looks very sad. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Knight of Swords. What is this? This is Thursday, the 14th of May. So this is an entrance. The Knight of Swords. This is this is uh, somebody. Uh, this is a protector. This is a protector. This is a warrior. This is somebody that is coming in very, very fast. Has some sort of information. Very intellectual. Very smart. This person is on a mission. They have something that they need to do. He is headed towards this feminine. Um, so there is somebody that is headed towards this feminine. There's been a lack of... There's been an injustice here. On Thursday. Now this is a shocking entrance. It comes out of nowhere. Somebody is coming in out of nowhere. It's time. She gives birth when it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for this entrance. Somebody is coming in on Thursday out of nowhere. There's been no reciprocation. There's been an imbalance. Now this person is interested so there's somebody, because this is an interest, so there's now somebody is interested in this loving individual. This is, the Empress is a lover. She's very abundant. She's a lover. She gives birth. She takes care of everything. She's a huge, big heart. So we do have an entrance that is coming towards this Empress. This this person is coming in, and it's just, it's, it's very sudden. The, the Knight of Swords is very sudden. This guy has some sort of truth. He has a sort of truth. He has the power in his hands. He is coming forward. He is coming to deliver some sort of information to this mother, to this woman. He's interested. He's got some information. There's been some sort of injustice. I'm not sure what it is. Could be an investigator. I'm not sure who it is. Whoever this person is. Um, Friday. Four of... Four of Wands versus the Three of Cups reversed. Wow. This is gossip. Three of Cups reversed is, is bitchy women. Enemies disguised as friends. This party is over. This is a termination. Lack of growth. Parting ways. On Friday. With somebody. I mean the Four of Wands usually is home. Some, it could be somebody that you live with. It could be parting ways. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. But the Four of Wands is usually a happy home. But this is a disconnection. This could, this could, I don't know what the hell is going on. And we have a third party situation here where there's gossiping, there's bitching, um, people disguised as enemies in your family or your home. Somebody may have turned on you. I'm going to get another card for this as well. Balance, justice, karma. Now we're dealing, we got a Libra here. Now you may be dealing with a Libra. We have Libra, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have Taurus and Libra here. It could be, it could be you as well. But you're going to, I feel like on Friday, justice, karma, a final decision. The law may be involved. Everything is going to turn out as it should. Or everything has turned out as it should. There could be a change in the home. And there's a lot of bitching about whatever the decision was. Because this is the final decision. decision the final decision being made here. This is the, this is the justice card. I need to get one more card. One more card for Friday because of that Four of Wands. That Four of Wands is contentment, a gathering. There's going to be a gathering with some people that aren't really your friends, okay? These people are not your friends. They talk behind your back. They don't have your back, and they could turn on you. Especially if you're dealing with a Libra. Anyway, um, could even be children. It doesn't have to be a Libra, but anyway... Um, this right here is justice being served. 
you know, karma has no toleration for lies. So it's a karmic day on Friday. This is the laws of karma. See straight through the situation. So there could be news of legalities on Friday. Sorry, but that could be the case. Case. There could be a, a case. Interesting. Saturday. Saturday we have the Magician and the Seven of Wands. Now the Magician is very powerful energy. It's be taking action. Being in control. We have a golden opportunity to be on top, to climb the ladder. Okay, because that's climbing a ladder, being on top, seven of wands, it's going to be a challenge, not going to be easy, but you have the skills to climb out of this hole. There could look like this ladder's coming from a hole to me. I feel like you will be climbing out of a situation on Saturday. You have the power, you have the resources. Very determined, determined to succeed. On Saturday, you will be in control. You will be climbing back out of this situation. You will be coming up on top on Saturday. You will be rising above whatever this was on Saturday. You'll be facing the challenge because this is pretty fearful. It looks like it's fearful to me. You may have been caught off guard but you will persevere because you have the resources to do so. You're able to master your emotions. You're highly competitive. There's definitely gossip around you this week. There's a lot of gossip that is hindering you. Gossip may be the karma because there's karma. Oh, karma, gossip. Woo! So, something to do with gossip. Gossip is not good. As above, so below. What goes around comes around. Oh, imagine that shit. So, anyhow, what goes around comes around. Interesting. Somebody may be talking about you behind your back. Karma's a bitch. Anyhow, um... I feel like this week you are going to be dealing with some heartache, okay? That's that's a fact, okay? I think that you're going to be you you're going to be feeling some pain in your heart, okay? And I feel like it's because of you're dealing with some people that are talking about you behind your back. And I think it hurts. I think it hurts. I think you're they're going to get caught and you're going to hear what they say and it's going to hurt you. But this is going to, it might even piss you off by looks on the, your face, okay? Whatever, it might even be like, you know what? These people aren't really my friends. They're not my friends. It may, it may cause you to open your eyes. You do have somebody here that is a real friend, okay? I don't know if it's a water sign. It looks like it's a water sign. It doesn't have to be that will support you and will listen to you. Let, let this person, let this person help you. I think it's a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. I feel like this person has your best interest at heart and that you should let listen to them. You should listen to them. I feel like you will persevere through this and this is going to make you stronger in the end. I feel like you are climbing the ladder. You will be climbing out of this by Saturday, but I think it's going to be a tough week. This has to do with uh, opening your eyes to who your friends are and who your friends aren't. Good luck, Leo.